Hi there, it's Leanne again, back with part two of this BB craft videos that I've been doing this past week. And this one is using the Moon Set Jewelry to create an actual jewelry set this time. And this will be the second of three videos that I'm using these products that I got from BB Craft. Like I said, this one is for moon jewellery sets as one of the kits that I got was actually a moon set but I'm not going to use it as the set is meant to be used. I'm going to create a little design for you. This past week I've been playing with this set and I came up with two other designs. This one here, the blue moons that I call these. I really liked that I could extend a head pin from the top to the bottom of these little moons so I'm going to incorporate that in the design I do for you today and this is more sort of like how it's meant to be used sort of sticking to the original design that comes with the jewellery kit I've just added my own little twist to it by adding the stars and little gemstones above the inner dangling moon so I'm going to incorporate both of these things into a design for you today just to show you that you do not need to stick with the plain basic way that the, the kits are supposed to be used. You can have a little flourish, a little flair and make these extra special. So I've picked a palette for this one. I'm going to use the purple druzy along with gold and mauve and little silver stars here. I'm sticking with the moon and stars theme and I really love how yet again this little jewellery set coincides with our creative challenge which is the galaxy palette. Okay so the first thing I'm going to do is make one of the earrings for you. It's pretty straightforward. I'm glued in the druzy into the little bezel that comes with the kit that you're supposed to glue it into and they're going to be the base of my earring. I've selected some little metal stars and some beads that I think will really nice with this colour of druzy and I'm just laying them out how I'm going to put them on my earring. All I need for this one is a couple of earring hooks and an extra long head pin which I have here. All of these little findings apart from I think the head pins that come with the kit are a bit short so I had to use my own head pin here but the earring hooks and the little silver beads they all came in the kit. I added the stars but all the beads used in this were also in the kit. I never added any beads of my own. Everything came from BB Craft. So I've just put them all together on one head pin and I'm just closing up the top with another loop and that gives me a double ended little wire that I can hook to my druzy at the bottom and to my earring hook at the top and I'm just using the little tool that came in the kit here to open the jump rings. I'm still getting used to it, I'm not used to using this little thing but it is extremely handy. I don't know how I ever did without one. So I've attached it to the bottom and I'm just going to use a jump ring to attach my earring to the earring hook at the top and add a little couple of dangly stars while I'm doing it. I wanted to use stars in the pendant and to make everything match and a little bit special I always try and use the same elements in my earrings and my pendants. So I'm closing that one up and that is one earring done. So I'm not going to bore you by showing you the other earring, instead I'm going to move straight to the necklace. But you saw how simple that was. It was just a case of assembling things from the kit and it took all of two minutes. Okay, this time I'm going to find a head pin that reaches quite far past the moon. And the reason for that is because we're going to bend the bottom up and attach it to the bottom. So you're going to need a head pin longer. I'm attaching the druzy to that head pin and then using it, the little loop inside the moon to connect them all at the top, closing that up. And while it's dangling like this, I realize I've got it on backwards and you're not going to see my druzy if I don't correct it. So after getting it on there, I struggled to get it off and lost my temper with it because it was so fiddly. And believe it or not, someone that does not do fiddly, it drives me insane. So it took a few minutes of getting that the right way around, the way it should have been in the first place. So to move on, before I attach that wire, I'm going to put a little star and a little crystal bead at the bottom of that wire. And they're just going to let gravity do its job and pull them down to sit on the bottom of the moon when this is closed up. So I'm just sliding them on, measuring where they need to sit. I'm bending my wire to push it through that hole at the bottom of the moon, snip off the excess and then use your round nose pliers to curl that in around your moon. And as you can see, these sit really nicely. 
once you've got that in place. I'm not worried about the druzy moving around right now as we're going to secure that later on. I'm just making sure that my star and my crystals sit where I want them to and I have enough space for my druzy to be glued on later. So that's basically the pendant done apart from adhering that druzy. So now we're going to work on the chain. Now in the kit comes this necklace and it's quite a decent length but I wanted to add some of the matching beads to this so I'm finding the centre point of the necklace and cutting it in half. Now don't worry, we are easily going to reattach that by using a couple of head pins and laying out these little metal stars and the beads that I have chosen that match everything here and I'm going to use one head pin on each side of my chain I'm just laying out the beads in the order that I think they look pretty, splitting them into two separate sides and then I'm just going to thread them straight onto my head pin here. And once I've got them on my head pin I'm going to just trim off that end and curl it with my needle nose pliers. Sorry, my round nose pliers, I don't even know what needle nose pliers are. And then I am going to open that little loop and put my chain on that end. And that will be one side of my necklace and I'm going to repeat it for the other side. As you can see, it's very cute. So I'll bring my other side of the chain around in readiness, get another head pin and once again follow the way that I've threaded them on the first one and just thread those beads on. Now these little metal stars, I love little metal stars. I, every time I see them on AliExpress or eBay, I will buy stars. I'm obsessed with little stars, so I have them in many types. Just putting my little loop on that end, and then I'm going to attach it. Now make sure you put it up the right way when you attach it to your chain, so both sides are symmetrical. And close that loop. Okay so that's the two sides of my necklace and so now I need to join them together so back to that little doohinky on my thumb I'm gonna open a jump ring and thread them together. Now here I add a star charm which I should have left off and added after I assembled my pendant because the way I have it right now it gets in the way and doesn't sit right but I don't notice that until I start assembling my necklace. So then I'm taking a jump ring and attaching my pendant to that centre jump ring that we used to join our two head pins and this is when I realise my star is in the way and not sitting correctly. But I persevere because I'm stupid like that. So once I get it on there, I start fiddling with it and decide to move on to gluing my druzy first. So all I'm going to do for my druzy is I'm going to get some of my UV top coat because I have no UV resin left coat the back of my metal bezel, slide it under my head pin where I want it to sit and while it's sitting like that just run the UV light over the top for a couple of minutes and then give it a second coat coating that wire and holding everything in place. UV resin adheres really well to metal so this is perfect for this kind of project. I mean the pendant is held on by its own loop anyway so this is just to keep them together and it makes it stay in place. This is when I realised I'd left that wire a little bit long and it didn't look neat so I'm just snipping off the excess, tucking that back around so it looks neater, squeezing the ends together and this is where I decide that I really need to sort that star because it's annoying me and it's not sitting right. No matter how much I move it and turn it I realise it just doesn't sit correctly. So this is where I probably lost my temper for the second time. Like I said, I'm not the most patient of, pers of persons, of people. And when I have to do fiddly things like this and take things apart, it just does my head in. So I skip past me losing my temper and here I am suddenly back with the star, the star removed and applying it for the second time. I just moved it down to the next jump ring and it sits so much better flat and dangly and doesn't get in the way 
and looks fabulous. Okay, so that is one earring and one necklace and by the power of video we have two earrings done and one necklace and that was quick and simple but look how stunning this is. If you're somebody that likes boho jewellery and really likes the moon themed jewellery that trends every so often then this craft is for you. One simple jewellery set that so far I have three designs from and I could do so many more variations just using this one kit along with the bead kit that I chose to go with this and I think they're really pretty. The necklaces are quite long so they hang at a really nice level and I don't know which is my favourite. Tell me in the comments below which one do you like the best. I think personally I like the one that's purple but you know that's probably because I like the dark colour. Currently the green one has been stolen by my daughter's best friend, she took the green set home with her. The blue set might be given to my best friend and I might keep the purple set for myself but I'm not sure yet. Let me know what you think. And this is Ellie, my daughter's best friend, modelling the green set as she was running out the door with it in her hands, stealing it from me. So yeah, these are the sets from BB Craft and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you liked what I came up with. I hope to see you make some too. Bye!